bunch of fifth grade graduation. What a joy it is to see all of you and to be in this new forum. We are so thrilled you're here. It's been our pleasure to honor our fifth graders all day long. We began this morning with a very special recognition at our morning assembly when all of our fifth graders walked in in front of our student body and they looked so nice. I told them they were all beautiful and handsome. Later in the morning, they were served brunch in our cafeteria to a beautifully decorated uh, table in their honor. Each fifth grader has been given a GAC pennant to be signed by their classmates and to bring home today as a special memento for their special, with their special friend signatures. It's a time of pride and affection. We're probably, you're probably wondering how these precious hours have already stacked into years. A milestone has been reached for these children. There's a sense of accomplishment of ending elementary school and beginning junior high. It truly is a wonderful day. And I'm now proud to present the 2008-2009 fifth grade class.
You may be seated. Just give them a big hand. Good job. And now I'd like to introduce to you our fifth grade student council representatives, and they have served all year long. That's Stephanie Reynolds and Justin Parker. And Stephanie will uh, lead our pledge to the flag, and Justin has a scripture reading. So please listen carefully. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Matthew 19, 14. Thank you, Justin and Stephanie. We're still getting used to the microphones, you can tell. We're just so thrilled with all this new equipment. And now one of our fifth grade parents, he's a member of our board with two children in elementary. Major Bogland will lead us in a prayer. Will you bow your heads and pray with me, please? Our righteous Heavenly Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we humbly approach your throne praising your holy name. Thank you, Father, for the gift of each one of these children. Thank you for watching over them and bringing them to this milestone in their lives. Father, it is my prayer that as you continue to guide them in their journey called life, that each one of them will become more and more dependent upon you for wisdom and direction. Father, help each one of them make a smooth transition to this new part of their lives called junior high. Father, thank you for the guidance and the training and the love that they have received from the teachers, counselors, and principals in the elementary school. Finally, Father, it is my prayer that these children will never forget how wide, how, love, how low, and how high, and how deep Christ's love is for each of them, and that they may know that they can do all that he asked, even more than they can imagine, that they will hang in there with him. Thank you, Father, most of all for your son, Jesus Christ, for his life, his death, and his resurrection. In his name we pray. Amen. And now we have a soloist among our fifth graders. Her name is Bethany Wood, and she will perform a song she's prepared for us today. She's accompanied by my uh, music teacher, Joy Sullivan. I'm trying to be like Jesus. I'm following in his way. 
Try to show kindness in all that you do. Be gentle and loving in deed and in thought. For these are the things Jesus What a delight. Bethany, that was so beautiful. We do many things for our children here, but the ones that do, deserve the most credit are the teachers and the teaching assistants. And this time I want to introduce to you these uh, seven teachers and three assistants that have led this class beautifully this year. Please stand. Mrs. Bridges. Stand up. Ms. Huber. Ms. Jones. Ms. McCall. Mr. Schultz, Miss Layton, Miss Stroud, and you're going to have to come back up here. <laughs> that's our assistants are just as important, and that's Miss Irwin, Miss Schaefer, and Miss Olson. Please stand and let's give them a big thank you. If I had time, I could talk a long time about these folks. They are just an amazing group, and they've taken this wonderful class to new heights this year. They've got them ready for junior high parents. And now we're going to uh, give out some awards, and due to the length of the program for, and for time's sake, please hold your applause until the end of each category. We'll start with the Continental Math League. This is coordinated by Mr. Maloney, one of our fourth grade teachers, and it's a national competition we compete in five times a year. A medal is given for the highest score, and then certificates are given for the next winners, the next to them. And I, I want you to know that these names I will be calling, it's my prediction they'll be the future math team when they get to high school. Those will be those AP math classes that will be offered. So the medal, the highest winners are Rebecca Buchler and Ryan Mercado. Please come forward. And right behind these two students, and, and this is the amazing thing, parents, these problems are things we've never taught these children. They just have a brain that they can figure out the answer. And a lot of times they don't even know how they got it. But uh, uh, more math students that watch, your, watch these as they grow, Parker Bryant, Taylor Burdett, Caitlin Jacobson, Kevin Shrake, and Zach Savage, all were high math scores and get certificates. Give them a big hand. The student council members are elected by their peers, and you've already met the two that served so well this year. They have done a marvelous job in leadership in many areas. They have done the weekly devotionals over the intercom, given out awards, always setting the proper example. And I'd like to call those two students back to stage and give them a medal for a good year's work, and that's Stephanie Reynolds and Justin Parker. Please come forward again. Good job. And another group, right, and just working right along with the student council is the safety patrol. The safety patrol, they turn on the computers in the lab, uh, they monitor the halls, they try to help children get to class uh, safely, they put up chairs in chapel, they are to be congratulated for their leadership role all year long, and I'm going to uh, have the teachers give them a medal as their name is called. Please come forward for a wonderful year of service. Chandler Bishop, Aaron Donaldson, Rachel Finazzo, Ford Higgins, Brad Hottevel, Stephen Lamb, Colin Poole, Matthew Rausch, Stephen Smith, Kennedy Street, Avery Strickland, and Tori Wiston. Congratulations to these 12 leaders.
they have a, a vest that they wear, and our biggest challenge is hanging that back up. <laughs> Uh, they do a great job in everything they're called to do, and I'm so proud of this group. And the next groups uh, will have already been awarded. When their year finished, they were awarded in chapel. And uh, I'm not going to call them to stage. I'd like for them to stand where they are and, and give them a, um, an appreciation for their hard year. The web design team has been working under the direction of Ms. Julia Osteen all year, and they meet weekly and they have made two delightful websites that are right now in competition for a national judging. And they will let us know if we placed in the nation on June the 1st. So watch our website. We'll post it there when we get the results. Um, I'd like at this time for the web design team to stand. And some of them are fourth graders and some of them are fifth graders. And uh, yeah, some of the fourth graders are here. So those are the children that have worked on these web pages all year and developed them. Um, they do things that are interesting to them. And if you look on their website, you'll see, you'll find out how we have chocolate. <laughs> and that's just one of the many things they've discovered and they wrote it in a way that's very helpful. So congratulations to the web design team. Give them a hand. Another group in fifth grade, as well as first, second, third, and fourth, is the chess team. They practice weekly under the direction of Miss McCall and other coaches, and they have gone to many region tournaments. Uh, both groups were invited to go to state. They placed third place in the state, the intermediate team and the primary team. And many of them went to the national competition for chess in Nashville, Tennessee. And one of them on the team was the best in, they, he placed sixth in the nation for chess. That's pretty good. Would the chess team please stand? Fourth and fifth graders, you can stand. You're in here too. All right. Uh, they did a great job. Good job, Chloe. And then another team that has worked all year, and I, I, this is so little recognition for how hard these students have worked, but it's called Odyssey of the Mind. And they practice weekly, sometimes daily. Right now, they're just about practicing daily. And they went to region, and they won at region. They went to state, and they placed at state, second in the state of Georgia. So they've been invited to the world competition. And they will be going to world in the last weekend in May. And that's at Iowa State University. And they've been paired with a team from China. That's their buddy. And so teams from all over the world will be there, and we cannot wait to see how they come out in there. Would the web, dis I mean, would the Odyssey of the Mind team please stand? They're under the direction of Miss Karen Cherry. Please stand, fourth or fifth. Good job. And the last team that we will honor is not a team, actually, but it is a group, and that's the singing group, and those are called Promises. And Promises is a group of fourth and fifth graders under the direction of Miss Williams and Miss Sullivan, and they sing every Monday afternoon, and Bethany's in that group. And you can tell they love singing, that just lights up their brain, and they sound so beautifully. They're going to perform for us next Monday in chapel, so if you want to hear them, come to chapel at 815 in our Bowen Gym. But I'd like for all those in Promises stand up, fourth and fifth graders. Good job. They performed at the state capitol this year. They've done uh, several singing events during the year. So we're proud of all of these, um, these groups that expand a little bit beyond our school day because we just know that they are interested in these things. So I, I just commend all of these students. Another group that I'd like to call, uh, we have a spelling bee every year. And uh, both, uh, both were uh, fifth graders that won this, the, and they've already received their plaque and their ribbon, but I do want to acknowledge them. The winner this year for the spelling bee was Ryan Makata. Come stand up, Ryan, where you are. Good job. Runner-up was Cole Estes. Cole just nearly won it. Good job.
Another nice honor that comes to many children, and they've worked all year long for this, is Accelerated Reader. And we acknowledge um, all the children from first through fifth who can read enough to accumulate over 100 points with 85% accuracy in comprehension. And many of the winners this year were fifth graders, and I'd like for them to come and receive a medallion, and then I've got some really high scores at the end. Please come forward for a year of excellent reading. Chandler Bishop, Scott Boyle, Jessica Brown, Parker Bryant, Michael Bueller, Taylor Burdett, Emily Clark, Rebecca Kohlhauer, Sapan Desai, Vivian M.D., Cole Estes, Rachel Finazzo, Rebecca Goodridge, Kayla Godot, Allie Gray, Katherine Harper, Ariana Hill, Heather Holdridge, Madeline Holly, Brandon Iverson, Robert Jackson, Brittany Jen, Jock Jones, Joshua Jones, Michael Keaton, Matthew Kenworthy, Laren Lazar, Maggie Light, Mallory Morris, Tenny Odubison, Justin Parker, Ellen Postel, Bryn Pugh, Stephanie Reynolds, Kevin Schrake, Caden Smith, Kennedy Street, Liam Sullivan, Sebastian Tyne, Ruben Villis, Villis Haley Wertonen, Jordan Williams, Sam Williams, and Dylan Wood. All of these names that I've called have gotten at least 100 points. And then some students just love to read. Now, none of these were expected to get 100 points. Really, the expectancy for fifth grade is 35. So these children are just high achievers. But listen to this. Chloe Katowski read enough to receive 905 points. Come forth, Chloe. Wow. <laughs> and right, right under Chloe, Rebecca Buchler got 597 points. And Ryan Makata was right under her with 500 points. And yeah, <laughs> I know, that's a lot of reading. And Lindsay Jackson, 426. And Caitlin, Jacob, Caitlin, Caitlin Jacobson was 400. Julie Vo, 375. Tyler Riggins, 329. Bethany Wood, 307. And Miranda Early, 300. They need a big thanks. We call fifth grade our leaders, and truly they show this in this area. No other grade level has reached this level. And of course, we expect them to be able to read before they go to junior high, and, and that's the truth. They love to read, most of them love it by now, and that's what we are in hopes. They become lifelong readers at, before they leave elementary. We're so proud of you. Thank you, fifth graders. You may be seated. And another award that is, um, is hard to get sometimes, and that's to be at school every day. And that's called perfect attendance, and medals are given to those children. So when your name is called, please come forward, and we're so proud of your good health. And uh, please come forward and let us congratulate you. Jasani Adesigan, Chandler Bishop, Rebecca Buchler, Sapan Desai, Miranda Early, Rebecca Goodridge, Katherine Harper, Isaiah Jelks, Brittany Jen, Ian Joseph, Alex Kim, Laren Lazar, Kennedy Street, and Mahama Sultan. Good job. Some of these students have done this before and uh, if I could get y'all to step back a little bit, come back to this table. If you have ever had perfect attendance before, would you take one step forward? So you've done this for two years. Have you done it for three? Take another step. Now don't you step off the stage. <laughs> okay, what about four years? Wow, 
five. Now, you've only been in school about seven. <laughs> all right. Have any of you gone all the way from kindergarten not missing a day? You have? Way to go. Miranda has. Way. Give them a big hand. Congratulations to you. And the next uh, section of our program will be presented by some teachers as well as specialists. And um, you might want to be making your way to the stage specialist. These awards are given each in each subject area based on grade point average attitude and enthusiasm. Our teachers and specialists will, will present these awards at this time. And we'll start with Bible Award. The Bible Award this year goes to Brandon Iverson. Brandon, be making your way to the stage, please. Brandon has done extremely well with the academic expectations set before him by his teachers. However, the Bible Award requires much more than merely making good grades. Brandon exemplifies the mission of GAC to help every child to grow as Jesus did in wisdom, stature, and in favor with God and man. It is evident that in the way that Brandon interacts with his teachers and his friends that he has taken this mission to heart. Congratulations, Brandon. This year's English award goes to Allie Gray. The English award is given to the student who has done an outstanding job in the area of language arts and reading. This student has a positive attitude and shows excellent reading and comprehension skills. She uses good grammar and spelling skills in her writing and speech. Her writing is imaginative and full of details. I am pleased to present the English Award to Allie Gray. The winner of the Math Award is Taylor Burdett, if you'll be making your way up. I'm very honored to be giving the math award today. This award is given to the student who has shown exemplary skills in the area of mathematics. Taylor has an excellent mathematical understanding and exceptional mathematical foundation. She's consistently shown high achievement in this important area. She has a great willingness to learn, and I'm delighted to award the math award to Taylor Burdett. Sullivan will come up, please. I'm pleased to give the award to for science to Liam. It is given to the student who shows knowledge of the subject as well as an enthusiasm for learning. And this year's recipient had a positive attitude throughout the year and exhibits a great academic aptitude for science. So I'm happy to give this award to Liam. I have the privilege of announcing this year's social studies winner, and that is Stephanie Reynolds. Stephanie is always prepared for class, puts a lot of effort into her homework and projects and preparation for tests, and also is interested in the subject and has good discussion ideas. So I want to congratulate Stephanie Reynolds. This year, the Music Award goes to Riley Corcoran, if she would come up. Riley has been a great student to have, and she's shown such an interest in music and in knowledge, and she's also been very, um, her attitude is always positive and always willing to do what I ask, and she's also been involved in our elementary chorus promises. So I'm pleased to present Riley Corcoran with the Music Award. I just want to tell the fifth grade class how much I love you. I have the privilege of being able to teach you every day for three years, most of you. And um, this is an unusual class because I have had several kids that come in every day, boy or girl, that give me a hug every day. And I have students that have told me every single day after PE, thank you. And so I just want to um, encourage all of you all to honor God in everything you do to make your body the best that it can be, but just to give your hearts to Jesus. 
And the two that are getting the PE award um, this year, they are outstanding athletes in a class of outstanding athletes. But they, um, they are very much respected by their classmates. They are respected by me because of the way they compete. They honor God. So the PE award goes to Melissa Gray and Berkeley Boglin. Mrs. Jackson and I have thoroughly enjoyed working with this year's fifth grade art students. You are a very talented and creative group of young people. Let me tell you about our art award recipient. He is wonderfully artistic and creative, takes care in his work, is very diligent in the process of creating art. He is always interested and engaged in whatever the project is that we're working on. And he's also a good citizen of the art class, meaning he is, um, has a good attitude, he's respectful and cooperative. Um, we are pleased to present the Art Award to Sapan Desai. The Spanish Club, the Spanish Award this year goes to Big Bethany Wood, if she'll go ahead and make her way up. I am so pleased to have known this fifth grade class, and I just wanted to say, like told you, that I will miss you very much. Yeah, these guys were in first grade when I first came to GACS, so I kind of feel like I've watched them grow up to be these beautiful young women and men that they are. But Bethany this year has just proven to me how incredibly talented she is at Spanish and what a heart she has for learning languages, and she's just been a shining example of a, what a wonderful student is, and I'm very pleased to have had her this year, and I will miss her very much next year. It goes to Ryan Mercado. Ryan may not know this, but I've had my eye on him for about three years as he's attended all of our band concerts, and you could just tell he was waiting for the day when he could join fifth grade band and pick up a trumpet. And he's become a very fine trumpet player over the course of the year, and recently received a very special honor that he was chosen to the District 13 Honor Band for beginners. Not only that, but he was selected to play a solo at that clinic out of a group of about 20 other trumpet players that were all in sixth grade, so that was a special honor for Ryan. Good afternoon. It's been my honor and privilege to be the orchestra teacher for this year's fifth grade Silver Strings. And I'd just like to take a minute to let you know how very special, talented, hardworking all of the fifth graders in Silver Strings have been this year. And the thing that really made the difference for this award recipient was that not only was she talented, dedicated, hardworking, but she came just about every single morning as early as she could get here to practice. And that has really made a huge difference in our group. This year's orchestra award recipient is Grace Eson. Grace, would you please make your way to the stage? Our computer award goes to Cole Estes. Miss Walton is the teacher of computer and she could not be here today, but she wrote this about Cole. This award can only be presented to one student in fifth grade. However, this student well represents the many others in his class who also excel in computer and keyboarding skills. He has persistently tackled every new task and program when they were introduced during class time. He also persevered in developing his typing skills while maintaining an eager and positive attitude. The young man who has been chosen to represent the computer savvy fifth graders 
and he will also lead the way in sixth grade technology next year is Cole Estes. Please congratulate him. This year it is my honor to present the scholarship award to Rebecca Buechler. Rebecca receives this award because she has maintained an exemplary academic record in all subjects throughout the year. She has shown leadership qualities, tremendous effort, and has an outstanding attitude. Please congratulate Rebecca. The next group of awards are called citizenship. These awards are the highest honor bestowed by teachers and students. The criteria is based on our mission, good character traits, working up to your potential given to you from God, and being a well-rounded student. These children have really internalized our mission at GOC. Please come forward and congratulate in Ms. Stroud's class, Miles Swabby and Haley Wirtanen. And now come forward in Ms. Huber's class, Kevin Shrake and Kira LaRue. <laughs> Ms. McCall's class, Ford Higgins, Madeline Holly. <laughs> and Ms. Layton's class, Brandon Toomey and Tori Wisted. Ms. Bridges' class in citizenship is Colin Poole and Lauren Long. And Ms. Jones, Mr. Schultz's class is Stephen Smith and Caroline Manus. Carolyn Manus. We are so proud of these students. They are really internalizing the Bible, and I'm just so grateful for their, their growth in that area, and they should be commended. Um, the, presidents, the President of the United States gives a certificate. It's called the President's Education Awards Program, and he sends us a certificate. So it's signed by Barack Obama, and he sends this letter, and each child will get this letter. I'm going to read it at this time. I am delighted to join your family, friends, and community in congratulating you on receiving the President's Education Award. By earning this honor, you have shown a deep personal commitment to educational excellence, and I commend you for your hard work. Nothing is more important to our nation's long-term success in educating our future leaders. Your commitment to learning will help you meet the educational and professional demands in your future and will help lead America to a better day. I'm confident that you will build on this achievement as you strive for even higher goals in the future. I wish you all the best for continued success in years ahead. Barack Obama. The following students have received an A average in every academic area for this year. They will receive a letter. They will receive this letter and a certificate signed by the United States President congratulating on this high accomplishment. Several of these students have been able to make all A's since they entered GAC. Please come forward and hold your applause to the end. Samantha Baker, Chandler Bishop, Berkeley Boglin, Jessica Brown, Lauren Brown, Parker Bryant, Rebecca Buechler, Michael Bueller, Taylor Burdett, Sapan Desai, Jawan Drake, Vivian MD, Grace Eson, Cole Estes, Elijah Janess, Kayla Godot, Allie Gray, Melissa Gray, Katherine Harper, Madison Holcomb, Lindsay Jackson, Caitlin Jacobson, Brittany Jen, Brandon Iverson, Ian Joseph, Mike Keaton, Chloe Katowski, Colby Leifson, Kira LaRue, Maggie Light, Carolyn Manus, Connor Markham, Kaylee, Kayla McCulloch, Ryan Makata, Teresa Wynn, Tenny Odubison, Ellen Postel, Will Primos, Matt Reynolds, Stephanie Reynolds, Zach Savage, Stephen Smith, Liam Sullivan, Tori Thompson, Haley Wirtanen, Jordan Williams, Michael Williams, and Bethany Wood. 
Give them a big hand. <laughs>
Chandler Bishop. Berkeley Foglin. Kaylin Boyd. Scott Boyle. Stephanie Breon. Jessica Brown. Lauren Brown. Parker Bryant. Rebecca Buchler. Michael Bueller. Taylor Burdett. Hannah Cheshire. Emily Clark. Rebecca Kohlhauer. Riley Corcoran. Sapan Desai. Aaron Donaldson. Jaywan Drake. Cody Eads. Miranda Early. Mitch Elliott. Shushma Ellis. Vivian MD. Chandler Emick. Grace Eason. Cole Estes. Meredith Fields. Rachel Finasso. Victoria Garner. Elijah Janet. Rebecca Goodridge. Kayla Goodow. Allie Gray. Melissa Gray. Serena Halani. Katie Hale. Jacob Hall. Catherine Parfer. Lauren Harvey. Ford Higgins. Ariana Hill. Brad Potable. Jesse Hoagie. Madison Holcomb. Heather Holdridge. Madeline Holly. Brandon Iverson. Lindsay Jackson. Robert Jackson. Caitlin Jacobson. 
Isaiah Jill. Brittany Jan. Drew Johnson. Jock Jones. Joshua Jones. Ian Joseph. Mike Keaton. Reed Kelly. Matthew Kimworthy. Alex Kim. Chloe Katowski. Stephen Lamb. Laren Lazar. Colby Lafson. Megan Lennox. Kira LaRue. Carter Lewis. Maggie Light. Lauren Long. Caroline Banus. Dana Markert. Connor Markham. Austin McCain. Kaylee McCullough. Ryan Mercado. Manny Miller. Mallory Mora. Teresa Wynn. Ashley Oates. Kenny Odubisa. Jonathan O. Justin Parker. Colin Poole. Ellen Postel. Will Primo. Bren Hugh. Nicole Reed. Matt Reynolds. Stephanie Reynolds. Brooks Rice. Tyler Riggins. Matthew Roush. Matthew Santa Ana. Zach Savage. Caroline Scott. Benjamin Ship. Kevin Schrake. Drew Schumar. Hayden Smith.
Stephen Smith. Jenna Snellgrove. Nelson Stewart. Kennedy Street. Avery Strickland. Liam Sullivan. Mahal, excuse me, Mahima Sultan. Miles Swabby. Connor Tarfley. Anna Taylor. Katie Tharp. Tori Thompson. Sebastian Ty. Brandon Toomey. Ruben Bellis. Dooley Bo. Haley Wertinen. Christopher White. Taylor Wig. Caroline Wigmore. Carson Wild. Jordan Williams. Michael Williams. Sam Williams. Tori Wisted. Bethany Wood. Dylan Wood. Marcus Young. Fifth graders, we're very proud of you. And you made it a long way across the stage and down. We're really pleased for that. We want to challenge you to continue to grow just like Jesus did. And use all of those gifts you have for God and to his glory. Right now, we would like to congratulate you. So join me as we clap for our fifth grade graduates. proud of you. Thank you. <clears throat> and I know parents, you're just filled with pride today. These students have made us very proud of them and the future really is bright because of uh, the potential that's in each of them. Miss Bridges now will introduce a video presentation uh, that will last about 20 minutes and then uh, we're just about completed. So please, please give your attention. We're so excited today to show you this video. All year long, we've been compiling and organizing pictures and planning this video. I want to especially thank Amy Taylor of Mason 2 Productions, who's helped immensely in preparing this video. Also, Ms. Schaefer and Ms. Irwin and Ms. Olson, a big thank you to you. We've made so many special memories this year, from classroom discussions to special chapel times, and of course, our famous Rock Eagle trip. We've seen these students grow and learn and reach many exciting goals. It's truly been our pleasure to be their teacher. Each fifth grade student will receive a copy of this video, and it's our hope that years later when they look back at it, they'll feel the love and happiness this year has brought. 
parents, we want to thank you so much for sharing your beautiful children with us. It's truly been a blessing to be part of this wonderful group of students. And fifth graders, from all of us, we love you and we are so proud of you. And now we'd like to share our beautiful memories with you. So parents and Miss Stroud, get out your tissues. It's time to begin. It's a blessing that every fifth grader will receive that DVD, and I assure you it'll be seen again. We will end our program with a benediction to our cherished fifth graders. Go on your way in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no man evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help and cheer the sick. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord. May the blessing of God be upon you and remain with you forever. Let's show our appreciation to our fifth graders. Parents, you may pick them up in the foyer. There are signs that they will be by their homeroom, and they'll gather by the homeroom. Please um, rise for the professional, and let's thank them one more time. Thank you, fifth graders. 